Hello everyone, welcome back to another one of my videos. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about phase rotation. As you can see here, we've got the, the signal, the wave signal from our mix down. And you can see a central line going across the center of the wave. So if you can imagine like where my mouse is here, you can see like a, a line across and that's the center. But as you can see here, like using this part as an example, you can see that some parts of the wave go further down and further up than other parts. Like here, we've got like a really deep dip on one side of the wave and then short on the other side. And it's like, it's always like that. Basically what phase rotation does is it will make this central. So it'll push this from the top to, de to the bottom. It'll make it all central and that will go all the way through the, the sound file. So basically what that does is these deep dips here will get shortened and that will create a lot more headroom for the mastering stage. Now, I don't think you can do this in Cubase. Uh, there might be a plugin that you can get for Cubase that does it, but I don't think you can do it with any stock plugins. That's in Cubase 11, maybe in Cubase 12, they'll have that. But the software that I'm using today is called Isotope RX8. And this comes with a really good phase rotation tool. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click this phase button on the side. And I'm going to select adaptive phase rotation. And this will just go through the whole of the audio file and just fix phase rotation for us. Just going to read it and then it'll fix it. And watch these little dips become shorter. There we go. Everything's just evened out. It looks better. All it does is shorten those peaks and the dips. It just evens them out, giving you a bit more headroom. And this is actually a really useful thing to know when mastering, because if you can get all of those peaks sorted out and leveled out, then you've got headroom so you can compress more, you can, you can boost more, you can get more volume. And yeah, so let me know if this has helped in any way. And hopefully they'll put this in future Cubase versions because it's like the handiest tool to have, I think. Leave any comments below and I'll get back to you as, as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.